Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Microsoft Fabric account using your personal email ID. So all of us know that the Microsoft Fabric account usually requires the work email, but most of us they cannot most of us cannot use the work email id outside the organization right so in that case we definitely need if you want to practice microsoft fabric you need an account using your personal email and this is what we are going to see today and in my upcoming videos i'm going to make a series of videos on the microsoft fabric itself so let's move ahead but before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn as well as on Instagram. And I'm going to leave the link in the description box as well. So let's move ahead. And remember that prerequisite to everything here is having a Microsoft account, a Microsoft Azure account. So you guys should have access to the Microsoft Azure cloud right you can watch any video i also have video on my channel on the same on how to create an azure account i do recommend all of you guys to connect uh, to create an azure account because that is a prerequisite now once you are already in the azure cloud account you can actually go ahead and simply uh, you can search for entra over here the moment you click on entra and you click on the microsoft entra id you can see here on the left hand side you have a users panel in this users panel, you can actually see this is the user with which your account is created. Here we need to go ahead and create a new user. And here I can name my new users as anything. Let me let's say BB over here and the display name again, I'll say BB and then you can create you should go ahead and you should create a password as well. Let me create a password here. And here I go, I have created the password. And now I will simply go ahead, click on review and create, and I will simply click on create over here. Now you can see that it has successfully created a user and let me simply refresh it. And while I'm refreshing it, you can actually see that this is the new user that has been created. Now you can see it has a domain of on Microsoft.com. You can simply copy this email and of course, remember the password as well. And then you can simply go to app.fabric dot microsoft dot com and this is exactly where you need to go even if you're using a work email right and here you just need to enter your email id that you have just the basically the credential from here the user principal name you simply need to copy and put it over here and click on submit now you will see that it starts creating your account looks like you are already a microsoft customer signed in as this to get the Microsoft free account sign in right now when I go ahead sign in you just need to put in your password over here and click on sign in now it will actually ask you to uh, after clicking on sign in it is going to ask you to create a new password let me just do that right now this is my current password and I have to put some new password let's say this is my new password and I will just confirm my new password over here. And okay, something looks to be wrong. Let me just retype my new password again without speaking so that I'm not distracted. And here I am. So this, I have updated my new password as well. Uh, let me check, choose something harder to guess. Okay, <laughs> let me just put in my password again. So I have just updated my password and here you can see it says action required. So basically it is asking me for the authenticator app as well. So let me simply click on next over here. So you can see over here, it has asked you to download the Microsoft Authenticator app. You need to install it. If you don't have it, I already have it. So I don't need to install it again. I'll just simply go ahead, click on next. And again, I'll click on next over here. And then I will just simply say, and I will scan this QR code right now through my mobile phone into the Authenticator app. And here I go. So I have this now authenticated through my phone, authenticator app as well. 
and here I am typing the number which it is notifying right now in my application as well. Notification is approved through my mobile phone. I'll click on next and done. So this is how basically we can go ahead and create a free Microsoft Fabric account. And similarly, I'm just going to select the region as well over here right now. India and then it is going to ask me for the mobile number and let me just click on this and I will add the mobile number as well here and after entering my mobile number and clicking on get started I am here at this particular at the same page to the next uh, you know confirmation detail and you can see that it says thanks for signing up for Microsoft Fabric Free and your username is this and let's get started. So the moment I click over here you can see that I have my account created and I can actually go ahead and use it as well. So in the upcoming videos you will see all the videos you know related to uh, you know Fabric itself. You can check this is your Microsoft Fabric account if you uh, okay I, we are going to discuss this in detail later on as well so we will create our workspace we are going to play around with the microsoft fabric so i hope you like this particular video you understood what you know how we can actually go ahead and create a free microsoft fabric account using your azure portal and your personal email and so thank you so much for being till here do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for being till here